Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric, and today I'm just gonna give my quick little recap of PAX South 2015. Now, first and foremost, when I showed up, I was amazed at how much stuff was right when you entered on the floor. All sorts of big displays and booths that were set up with all sorts of shit. Most of it's Steam games, so I didn't know much about it in PC games, but I made a beeline to the Nintendo booth where they were giving away the mask, which I'm so glad that I ended up getting one. Stupid, trying to put it on with the hat. But yeah, I was glad that I was able to get this. On the first day, I did not get it, but the second day, they had more. And yeah, they were showing the Majora's Mask 3D demo, as well as the new Nintendo 3DS. They also had Monster Hunter Ultimate 4. And yeah, it was all 3DS stuff. However, there was a couple of Wii U independent games, such as Sports Ball. It was one of the groups that I actually interviewed. Unfortunately, the audio didn't come out right, but maybe I'll go ahead and give you a summary of that in a different video. Also, there was the uh, Star Mazer Kickstarter booth, as well as Swords and Soldiers for the Wii U. Then there was all sorts of other games around the area that I checked out that were really cool. Uh, there was an arcade area that was run by Screw Attack, and there was also a few other areas up on the second floor that companies such as Bioware and Greybox and all those other companies had their own little locations and it was just a lot of stuff everywhere. Overall, PAX South was pretty neat. I'm glad that they decided to hold it in San Antonio. Let's hope next year's is also here. I would like to see a lot more console gaming stuff. I don't know if normally PAX doesn't really have that since this was my first time at a PAX. There was a lot of tabletop gaming as well. I'm not really into that, but overall, this was a pretty neat uh, convention. I was impressed. I was a little tired of walking and, you know, after I looked at the Nintendo booth and a couple things I wanted to look at, I really didn't have much that I wanted to look for. Didn't get to check any of the panels out. But regardless, it was a pretty fun convention to have just here at home. And yeah, so hopefully you guys are digging the footage that I'm showing right now. This is some of the stuff that I managed to get. Looking forward to PAX South 2016. And well guys, that's it for today. Peace out.